have you seen the video yet? This has been going all over social media. Brawl breaking out between rival schools. Now, last night's DeSoto versus Duncanville basketball game is actually a full scale investigation into player conduct. Steve Pickett live for us outside Duncanville High School where the game was played last night. Steve? Uh, Doug, as someone said, a basketball game that turned into a hockey match. Some finding it funny, others not funny. As you mentioned, there's a full review here. All of this, a rivalry basketball game that turned ugly at the end. <laughs> this is DeSoto and Duncanville on the basketball court just a few weeks ago. The teams are regional rivals, and Duncanville won this match. Last night, DeSoto's blowout win on Duncanville's court wrapped up with a handshake line that turned into this. This full-scale fight, including players from both teams and warnings from the game announcer to stop spectators from throwing objects, turned this high school game into mayhem. You can see fear and tears on the faces of students attending the game. 17-year-old Joseph Gossett attended the game as well, and he admits the video doesn't capture all the chaos. We were just having fun until things got off track, and it was going bad. People were throwing Gatorade bottles, and they were going, out, going at our cheerleaders and everything. High school game brawls aren't new. This fight between football players from Arlington Martin and North Crowley from 2016 generated player suspensions. The UIL is now looking into the basketball fight. Both schools say they will identify those involved and issue punishment. Students identified this player as DeSoto's Courtney Douglas. This morning, Douglas was celebrating his college signing day to play football. The review of this video could determine if he and others will be allowed to play more basketball. Both school districts issuing statements today regarding all of this thing. They will review the video. They will investigate this and will identify all of those involved and hand out the appropriate discipline for those involved. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.